Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Ventura. Welcome to the draft special of Monday Night Claw. And, well, take it away, Gorilla. You can do all of the introduction and everything. Thank you. I'll introduce myself in the ring, folks. We've got Bezel here. We've got Rick Schiavone here. But I got to get to ringside because I got a lot to say as we kick off this draft tonight. Yep. Don't all talk at once, though. <laughs> We're going to let you talk. Anyway, hello, everyone. It's me, Bezel. It's great to be back here in front of the microphone instead of out in the production truck like I've been for the last year or so. I am really looking forward to making sure this draft gets demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> hey, JFW Universe, the most revolutionary day in JFW history is here. And thank goodness it's the last time we need to listen to Gorilla Mezzo on a Monday Night Claw in a very, very long time. <laughs> wow. Brutal. And speaking of which, he's, he's just about ready to make his way to the ring, so let's go to ringside. Good evening, JFW Universe. It is time now for the JFW Draft. Monday Night Claw and Friday Stand Firm are going to be setting their rosters tonight. I just wanted to kick off the whole night with a few rules how this whole thing's going to work. As you already know, the EA belt is exclusive to Claw, so Goliath goes to Claw. The world title is exclusive to Stand Firm, so Frost Lord goes to Stand Firm. Tag titles and dress for business to Claw, and the Plim Plom Pluserweight title to Stand Firm, and that's Muppet Pac-Man after winning it last night. And also, the women's division will all go to Stand Firm. I know that sounds like a big advantage because it's such a huge uh, division, but they're all going to be on Friday Stand Firm, and because of that, Monday Night Claw will get the first pick in the draft. And I got one other thing to say, and that is that tag teams can be drafted as a team so long as they've competed as a tag team in the past. But in doing so, you will take up two picks in a row for your brand. So if someone were to say to draft, dress for business, that would be picks number one and two were that the, the, the case of that pick? And then you'll see back-to-back -back picks from the other brand. Or you can draft everyone individually. So I think that's about all we've got to cover tonight before we get started. And we are waiting. Uh, in just a moment, we'll get to the picks. We do have some matches for you as well. So get excited, folks. We are going to break down the JFW into two separate brands. And both of them are going to lead us all into a future of incredible professional wrestling. See ya. Ow, fuck. Punch my mic. Wow. Where's, where's Jims McMahon? Shouldn't uh, he be here with us, guys? Uh, Jims McMahon, to my understanding, is uh, hiding in his secret bunker and kind of pulling the strings from the background like a hasty white northerner Wizard of Oz. <laughs> God so damn it! I, guess we're gonna need, I tell you we're gonna what! Need somebody else to pick for him. Rick Schiavone, I've given you the list here of the draft picks. You're going to have to do the draft for me. Oh, well, I, 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 he sent me, I vaguely heard him there, but I, he sent me a text message, guys. Um, one sec. So it, it, it says, uh, sorry, I, I can't be there for the draft. Uh, Gorilla Mezzo would wind me up too much, and I I'd, I'd might end up making a mistake. Uh, also, if I had to keep this my accent up for an hour or so, it would uh, I'd lose my voice. So instead, I, I've used, in my infinite wisdom, I've used my vast wealth to hire and assign the greatest mind in, uh, in wrestling to, to take the picks for me. Rick Schiavone, baby! Come on! Oh, good. Yeah. All right, and I am back. I, am I hearing correctly that Jim McMahon, too cowardly 
to face me in a draft one-on-one, had to hand it off to you, Rick Schiavone. Is that what we're dealing with right now? Me and you, Gorilla. Let's do it. Fair enough. Well, this should be a wild one. I know I've got my picks prioritized. I'm going to put together the greatest roster in professional wrestling. And, of course, if we haven't introduced him already, you guys all know and love the father creator himself, Bezel. He'll be joining us, maybe give us a little insight into our picks and uh, and also help us with some commentary in the upcoming matches. But it's time now for the number one pick. Go ahead, Rick Schiavone. Why don't you go take Jimmy Fantastic and get it over with? <laughs> yeah, you wish. In your dreams, Gorilla. I've sold you down the river straight away, buddy. Prepare to weep, because you think that I hate him. But I'm telling you now, the only reason he's even available is he got screwed last night by that dastardly Rick Reckless. I'm taking Tony Plays Paulie, baby, the face of Friday Night Stand Firm. He's going to be exclusive to Monday Night Claw. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Did not see that one coming. Wow. Wow. Tony Plays Poorly, exclusive to Claw. Not going to get a shot. At, uh, at, uh, at, at reclaiming the world title here on Smack, or on SmackDown. Excuse me, stand firm. <laughs> oh, man, hang on. That's going to that's gonna throw me for a big loop here. I'm going to have to cross off my number one pick, which was obviously going to be Tony Plays Poorly. But you know what? There is a title out there to be grabbed. And so with the Friday stand firm, First pick of the draft, I am going to select Night Demon, your Wem Dope champion. And that's right, we've got another title on Friday Stand Firm. Oh, you bastard. Right, no. okay, well, one sec, one sec. This is exactly how a draft should go. Everybody's pissed that the person took the guy they wanted. Uh, Gorilla, you did a pretty well to recover from that shock, but... Uh, Rick Shivani, you've got uh, you're on the clock. Yeah, uh, yeah. Once, uh, 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 um, um, Tom Brady, um, help me. Okay, okay, I've got it. I've got it. I'm gonna take the man that screwed Tony, Rick Reckless himself, baby. Woo! Well, you're welcome to that pick. No problems there. He came in like a wrecking ball last night, <clears throat> and it, you know, gotta give him his due. One of the greatest champions of all time, but. I've seen more than enough of Rick Reckless in my day. I don't need him on Fridays anyway. But that is a hell of a start. One and two. Tony plays poorly and Rick Reckless. How the hell do I compete with that? I've got Night Demon. I've got the Wem Dope title for at least a month because that will have to be defended against Claw at our next pay-per-view. So I think with the with the second pick of the draft for Friday Stand Firm, I'm going to select a guy who has been on one of the best winning streaks we've seen recently. Just started up a singles career, and I have all the faith in the world in him. You know him now, the tiny-footed man himself, Satterfield, number two to Friday Stand Firm. <laughs> How appropriate uh, that Friday Night Stand Firm would have the one JFW superstar that could actually put his foot in his mouth. Um, all right. Well, I, I got another message here from, from Jim McMahon. Oh, my goodness. I'm allowed to pick as one Jimmy Fantastic and Table Leg Wanger because I can take them as the glorious ones, baby. Oh, man. Oh, come on. That you They're not even going to compete in the tag division. That is some underhanded bullshit by Mr. Jim McMahon and by association, Rick Schiavone taking the glorious ones as a tag team, a two for one, if you will. But you know what? Fair, turnabout's fair play, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. Friday Stand Firm is going to draft what should be a championship tag team, the winner three fives. That's Scaramezzo and J5, baby. Woo! <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, and you know what? You know what, Rick? Just just to prove, just to prove to you and the whole world how how dominant, even though they won't have a title to compete for on Friday, stand firm. We'll find plenty to do for Scurro and J5. Let's get to ringside and put both of these top tag teams that were drafted to the test in a 2v2 matchup. 
the glorious ones versus the winner three fives. Let's do it, baby. There was only one winner this round, and we're about to see who it was. This is going to be Holy about hell. 20 minutes of entrances and three minutes of wrestling, folks. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that is just the way we like it. Pretty, pretty amazing good. here. <laughs> All right, Bezel, you're our man in the hot seat right now, the neutral party. We're three, you know, six picks in now, technically. We're third round. Who are you giving the advantage to here, Monday Claw or Friday Stand Firm? Well, it's pretty tight. I think maybe a little bit of an edge to Friday Stand Firm because uh, they managed to steal one of the top tag teams of all time, the winner three fives. They've been champions for three, five, and eight hundred years or something like that. And they won't even be in Monday Night Claw with the it's tag team be division. Amazing, guys. That's a big blow to Claw. Absolutely. And while we're firing up this matchup, if it's ever going to start. Um, we'll go through those picks again for those coming in, core night, whatnot. Number one draft pick, Claw took Tony Plays Poorly. Sma uh, Stan Firm took Night Demon. Round two was Rick Reckless to Claw and Satterfield to Stan Firm. And round three, the glorious ones, Jim and Wanger to Claw and Stan Firm taking the winner three fives. That's Joe and J5, and we're going to see both those tag teams in action right now. Talking of the glorious ones, soak it in, Gorilla Mezzo, because this is the last time you're going to see the greatest entrance in the JFW for a very, very long time. Woo! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Always, uh, always instills confidence to have Jimmy text me privately during a stream with, oh, fuck me, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> It's a regular occurrence, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget to hit play or something? No, no, it's all right. It's all right. Well, it wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> no, whoops, I'm just catching up on messages from what I'm supposed to do 15 minutes ago. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. Oh, I was okay, yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> I was feeling for Rick there. <laughs> Good man, it's so good. Well, yeah, I gotta say, I am a little disappointed to see these guys go as a tag team. I did think about Wanger as a high pick. I knew I wasn't gonna get. I thought, I thought Jimmy was gonna go number one. He's always been had that kinship with Mr. Jim McMahon, but obviously, the uh, the big brain play of getting uh, getting the belt off Tony uh, via <laughs> via Rick Reckless, and uh, well. <laughs> Got to say, that was one way to get your first round pick and uh, get the uh, the face that runs the place onto your brand. But I tell you what, watch these two come out and you're going to be sorry about uh, who you'd taken as a tag team. <laughs> I think yeah. it will be a little sad in the future that we won't get to see matchups like this on uh, Monday Night Claw or on Friday Stand Firm with what with pulling the uh, brands in half and all. Yeah. Bit of a yeah, but, but you know, how, how many times have we seen all four of these guys in the ring against each other in some combination or the other? Maybe uh, J5 versus Wanger is the only one we probably haven't seen at this point. Uh, that's what these drafts are really good for, though. Shake up the rosters a little bit, create new and interesting storylines, and give us uh, new teams are going to have to form, you know, new alliances, new new feuds. It's going to be a future to look forward to in the JFW, at least it on absolutely Friday will. Absolutely. <laughs> to bring us back to tonight, look, I'll give it to you, Gorilla. Skuro and J5 can go. We know what athletes they are. But you know how this match goes down. Skuro's going to beat on Jim. He's going to kick out of everything he's got. And when he's completely exhausted, Jim's going to Jim bottom him into the canvas for the one, two, three, baby. Yeah, well, you, I can't 
I can't really refute that. I've seen it time and time again. But maybe, just maybe, we get Wanger into a bad spot, get the one, two, three, and we'll see uh, the winner three fives walk away victorious. And here we go, starting them right off. Jimmy Fantastic and Scurro. Uh, Scurro already maybe playing possum a little bit, sitting there just taking the damage, trying to flip the script on Jimmy rather than going in and just pounding him uh, into a uh, rock bottom victory. Now, I have a question about the rules for this particular match. Uh, what if, uh, for example, a squirrel was to beat on Jim for like 10 minutes outside of the ring, and then Jim hit squirrel with a Jim bottom and pinned him? Would that count as a fall? Well, this is not a falls count anywhere match like we featured in the women's division last night on uh, Backlash. So, no, in fact, there will be no pinfalls or submissions outside of the ring that, that will, well, I mean, there could be, but it won't lead to a victory for that team. The only way to win this match is inside the squared circle, baby. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> this is a, a REM thing that me and Gorilla agree on. You know, Falls Count Anywhere is, is such a special and unique gimmick that we really wouldn't want to overdo it by having it on just any old weekly show. It's really just the odd pay-per-view match because, uh, you know, it's such a spectacle to see. I mean, yeah, you saw the action last night. We had to move away from ringside because of the Fast and Fury action that could have at any point spilled out of the ring. It didn't happen to at that particular case, but we had to be ready for it to do so because you got to be ready for anything in live television. Yes, and it's difficult to be ready for it. Uh, evacuating the commentary team on every single show. So Falls Count Anywhere, I do understand why that would be a special pay-per-view kind of event. Indeed, indeed. And so, uh, as we said earlier, when you take a tag team, you forfeit your next pick so that you can draft the two, you know, the two for one pick. However, both brands taking back-to-back uh, -back tag teams means the draft will continue on. The fifth round pick will happen immediately following this match. Claw is going to be on the clock. Oh, what a counter by Skuro there into a cross body. And this is his time to get something going with uh, that, that Jim Bottom nowhere to be seen right now. Wow, I, I noticed that you turn your attention back to the match after 10 minutes of Skuro getting beaten down by the Glorious Ones just as he finally gets a move in, Gorilla. I'm a consummate pro. What can I say? When the action picks up and the crowd gets excited, I'll uh, divert back to what we need to talk about. And what we need to talk about right now is Top Rope Johnny tagging in, Wanger lying prone, and that's not where you want to be. Oh, but here he comes back to his feet and sending J5 into the Glorious One's corner. Most dangerous thing about J5 Gorilla is that if there was a herd of zebras, you might not see him coming. <laughs> well, only the lower half, though. The upper half, he'd stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> and uh, Zox Prime. Oh, uh, Bezel's got you covered. Yeah. Oh, wow. What a maneuver. He, he has got the moves, hasn't he, J5? Quite the athlete. Don't, don't let the, uh, the previous years of snacking fool you. <laughs> <laughs> Top rope Johnny. They call him that for a reason. Well, those horizontal stripes on his pants are slimming. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's supposed to go the other way, Bezel. <laughs> they also serve as camouflage, so it's hard to see him. Yeah, that, that camouflage will be even better in 2K22 if he ever, if he ever goes there. <laughs> He can and, really uh, sneak we, up for me yeah, on the top rope. We can also <laughs> announce now that our main event for tonight's uh, half of the draft is set. We are going to have a very special number one versus number one. That'll be Tony Plays Poorly versus Night Demon one on one in the main event later tonight. Boy, howdy. No J5 in sight. Gorilla Metso better keep up this pace. Oh, he's in a world of trouble. Oh, he a sure world is. Of trouble. Come on, Jimmy. Uh, good counter by Skurro getting right back in that with the punch. Sends him into the corner. Oh, look at that. High kick to the face. Oh, maybe that. I thought he was going for the cannonball there. Instead, he's just going to flapjack him up and down. This is and all here we go, pop-up powerbomb. 
Jimmy getting ready for the kick out. This is perfect. Oh, oh in <laughs> inevitably kicking out of this one. Well, Wanger's right there. Wanger breaking it up easily. And uh, well, Skurro, Skurro not able to get revenge on that one. Ran into an elbow. No, it's not for the Wemdove title, Steve Motter. <laughs> oh, my God. Brilliant demolition from the Glorious Ones. Unfortunately, J5 is back on the apron now. Oh, my uh -oh. goodness. Wanger going to drop <laughs> that elbow. Funny. Top rope elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks it. God, Wanger's like twice the size of Skuro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's twice the size of pretty much everybody. Oh, <laughs> oh, is he tuned, uh, he's do I hear something? Up the, do I hear some music? Do I hear some warming up for a gig? <laughs> oh, oh no! Hey. Kicked his damn head off, and J5's got to get in there. Oh, oh and he does oh. just barely skirting past Jimmy, but he pays the price. But he saves the match, and the winner three fives are still in this one. Oh, that was never going to end it, though. We we're we're still waiting on a Jim Bottom. <laughs> yeah, most most assuredly. Skurro's been doing a lot of work in the ring here. Might want to tag out again to J5. Uh, certainly can't have much left in the tank after that sweet chin music. There's no J5 to tag out to, Gorilla. <laughs> oh, there isn't. Yeah, he must have fallen off the apron in that transfer. Skuro here, he's making a rally of it, though. I'll panel J5. shoulder breaker. J5 is off having a snack. Uh, so Skuro uh, is kind of on his own right now. <laughs> you you got to get those blood sugars elevated if you want to pull off the top rope maneuvers. Well, this is very hopeful, I think. Yeah, two count there. But J5 is back, and he's on the apron again. Skuro really might want to think about tagging out now. To be fair, he's, he's doing a pretty good job at the moment. But, yeah, here it comes. Oh, oh no! Oh, J5 gonna fly! Top rope! Ooh. Johnny, oh, baby! Oh. Boom! Sticks the landing! Oh, but Skuro took the long <laughs> way around and still missed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. oh no! No! Oh. That's a bad move in some federations, but not the JFW. Boris one's firmly back in control now. I do think, though, Table they could do with a tag. Doesn't go for it. Flying for him into the corner instead. He's trying to win it. Come on, Jim. Oh, ref a little slow on the count there. Skuro all day to break that one up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, good job, Jim. You're helping. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh oh. Oh, Wanger's a little confused here. Yeah. Giving J5 some recovery time. Oh, mocking Skuro with the uh, with the X sign there. Yeah, he was. And yeah, just a little bit of respite there for J5, able to come back in this one and look out, Wanger. Oh oh. Jim still not on the apron. This could be trouble here. This is what we were talking about. Isolate Wanger away from that uh, that Jim bottom and try and get the pin. J J5 gonna fly again. Oh, oh, all this weight coming down from the top rope. Get the pin. It's over. This could be it. That's it. The ref oh, got a count, though. How slow is the ref? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> if the ref had been on his game a little bit Woo. there, you can tell this is a Monday Claw ref. <laughs> yes, Wagger. Come on, baby. No. no. Oh, man. Wow. Yes. Yeah, Swagger! Find the tag, baby! 
What a recovery. What a second win from Wanga. Huge right hands. And he is looking for the tag, I think. No, he's got a long way to go. Oh, he gets cut off. An excellent point being made on uh, social media here. J5 and the ref, pretty similar outfits. They're probably uh, working together. Maybe well, a little connected. We just connected. had a curb stomp here. The ref going to count this one. He is. Oh, oh so baby. Could not intercept there. But Jim's going to pay the penalty. Oh, oh no. But here you go. If Wanger can't get something going now, I think that's one, two, three. So did the ref steal half of J5's outfit, or did J5 steal half of the ref's outfit? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Wanger busted open. He's in desperate need of getting out of the ring, but his partner is not on the apron. Oh, he was going to go for the super kick, and J5 quicker. But J5 a little winded. Oh, 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 oh my god! 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 Right into oh, the it's over. Like the power bump. This Wake is the dream Jim. scenario for the winner three fives. Jim is kind of stirring, but is he going to be in time? Oh, I think he is. He's right there. He's oh, right yes, there. Jimmy. Yes. Jimmy. Oh, Jim was right there. And not <laughs> get fucked, Jim. Jimmy! Oh, did not get fucked. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh the came out from my And now Wang her up. We won that round three of the draft gorilla and you're about to have it proved to you <laughs> well you're showing a lot of confidence for for uh you know a team that really hasn't gotten any offense in in the last 15 minutes <laughs> but they are showing some resilience that's for damn sure and yeah look out oh it takes two of them but they got the big back body drop on wanger no oh, one wants one to of, Which him. one of them's legal, though, J5? <laughs> <laughs> they got a little confused there, I think. J5 top rope for the third time. Three for three. <laughs> Remember the days when he wouldn't connect on any of those? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And once yes. again, Skuro's uh, Skuro's kind of sleeping over on the apron there. J5's going to do it again. <laughs> oh, oh, the no, brain worms. Here we go. You got to uh, give it to The brain Jimmy. worms have struck. <laughs> That you could be oh, disaster. The, tag, the hot tag! No! The hot tag! No! <laughs> Come on! What? Oh, uh, no. and the disaster! Wait. The disaster! Oh no! Wait! J5 right there, maybe intercepting him. Oh! Oh no! He does. He sends him out of the out of the ring, and again, falls will not count out here. This is not a false <laughs> count anywhere match. Unlike what we were No front bottom outside <laughs> of the ring. <laughs> Oh, how many feet of concrete tonight? Uh, at least, at least 14. You know, we had 32 last yeah. night. So, you know, we had to we had to skimp a little oh. bit because we're only doing three matches tonight. Uh oh. That we have seen the winner three fives weakness in their tag game in the countout department. Oh my, oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Tonight, goodness. Oh baby! Tag, for goodness sake, table leg, please, tag, please. <laughs> what a so match. Hard. I think Bezel said it best early on. It is actually going to be a shame to not have these two teams facing each other on regular uh, basis anymore because what a match we are getting tonight in this uh, draft special. Yeah, i got to agree with you there, Gorilla. This has been an instant classic. Man, I'm dying for a tag to Jimmy, though, and I'm just not sure we're going to get it. Oh, wait, wait, maybe he just came up short here, but here comes Wanger, another pile driver, and this is it. This is his opportunity. He might have put J5 out there, but he's got to go to, he's got to go to Jim. Barely knows where he is. It's not like any man's too fresh, but yeah, by far the most beat up and out of it right now is table leg, but he might be too out of it to realize. Yeah, he's he got control now. Here's, here's the tag. Yeah. And 
that this could be disaster for the winner. Three fives, they had every opportunity, couldn't seal the deal, and now J5 in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, fantastic splash, Jimmy, yes. come on, baby. <laughs> Gonna come down. Oh, oh no! Yes. Well, oh. at least would have to eat the gym bottom. But this is the quintessential, the quintessential Jimmy Fantastic match. Here's a one, two, three. If Skuro can't get there, yeah. They might get Skuro too. Oh, oh, get oh, get oh, oh, get oh, oh, J5 kicks oh, out. J5 kicks out. No. no. I don't believe it. And now chaos in the ring. Both, everyone in the match. Oh no, Skuro out of the ring now. And uh, oh, well, this J5 was not able to get any sort of separation there. And Jimmy right on top of him still. Oh. How on earth did J5 kick out of the gym bottom there? That makes no sense to me. <laughs> no, me. Well. He is, uh, he is a, a winner 3-5. Oh, and, oh, I thought he was going to hang on for the pin there. He is a winner 3-5. And uh, that's the, the heart of a champion now. Wow, he got right in the face of Wanger there. Trying to, sure trying to frustrate him. Oh, got to let a dog in. What's that a metaphor for? <laughs> I, I know the mushroom patch one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a crazy match this is unbelievable. <laughs> it's been absolutely unbelievable <laughs> come on jimmy please what a more. match we are getting here oh look out now jim just teeing off on oh, j5 yes. and yeah busting him open ref ref might think about calling it if j5 can't protect himself there oh and speaking of protecting himself here we go a lot of blood on both sides of the apron now, and J5 going to tag in Skuro to inevitably eat a rock bottom, a uh, gym bottom. A classic matchup. Oh, wow. Oh, why? What? what? <laughs> J5. <laughs> J5 taking off leaving Skuro. Completely frustrated there. <laughs> oh, yes. drafted gorilla. Look what you've drafted. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I said it earlier that Stan Firm had the advantage in the early rounds of the draft, picking such a great tag team, but I don't know, is it falling apart already? That could be a problem. Oh, oh maybe, maybe it's just mind games. Maybe it's just mind games. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, maybe J5 has wandered off to try and get himself back onto Claw. <laughs> oh, so Skuro good. thought he'd finally found someone that could stand to be around him, but uh, <laughs> turns out. <laughs> oh no! Well, Skuro holding his own anyway, but this is He's a gonna losing win. battle. He's gonna, oh crab oh hit. He's gonna tap! He's <laughs> gonna tap to the Boston Crab! Oh. No, he's not. <laughs> Scarrow can't catch a break in this fucking federation. <laughs> <laughs> nice drop pick, man. Why'd you get it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> J5. Why are you the way you are? <laughs> J5 knows his rights as an employee. <laughs> Skuro doing everything in his power to keep the isolated and bleeding wanger away from Jim. But I just don't see how he gets a pinfall here. Submission's got to be his his uh, best bet, but uh, we just saw his best submission there. Or well, count out, maybe. Yeah, yeah. The ref decides to count. There we go. Yeah, we may see Skuro resort to the uh, dick and elbow. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have as much experience in the dick and elbow category as uh, as, as myself. <laughs> yeah, that's... Well, nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a man alive with as much experience. I'll <laughs> 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 oh, just get in the ring table, leg. 
Oh, Night Demon, what have you missed? Well, <laughs> oh, no! We've oh, had baby. three rounds of drafts in one epic fight that has oh, just about ended. Girl, girl, back in. Uh, Night Demon, yeah, you are the number one pick as the Wembo Dub Champion. Welcome to Friday Stand Firm. Uh, along with such high picks as the winner three fives, you might see Skurro in the ring right now and no J5. That's because J5 in pretty much just abandoned him mid-match in their debut representing our brand. So, off to a great start on Friday, Stan. <laughs> oh, no, the pop of Bobo. Oh, dear. But Jim's, there's no way Jim's not going to break this up. You'd think so. Oh, it is Jimmy. Okay, he's <laughs> there. It's right there to break that one up, and not much you can do about that. Oh, no. Skurro's going to win this. He effectively might. a handicap. Go pin up. him again, Skurro. No. Pin him again. No. <laughs> pin him again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, tap! Oh no! Tap you little bit! Wow! How can you call a guy in a 2 on 1 match who's winning a little bitch, Rick? Come on now! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, he's going to oh, he's on the knees! He just killed him! Oh, oh, so. He no sold oh, him! How is this the greatest match in JFW yes. history? Oh my god! And the sharpshooter <laughs> locked in, that might be it! Tap that out. might be yeah. it, and it is Guru having to tap out against all odds. The glorious ones getting a win. Wow! Wow! What a match! Well, Brand Blue looking a little bit uh, shaky in their debut here, but uh, we'll sort our things out. We, you know, we we've got a long way to go. Again, you, you expect to see a little bit of that tag team frustration, like. J5 and, and Skuro, a great tag team, but no belts to compete for on Friday Stand Firm. So what are they to do, you know? <laughs> so uh, a little bit of irony that the greatest match in the history of Monday Night Raw involved two Friday Night Stand Firm wrestlers. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe Wanger. Oh, my God. He's just covered in blood. Oh, Jesus wow. Well, Christ. what a match. Oh. But we've got a long way to go in this draft. We're doing we're doing 15 rounds tonight, 15 rounds on Friday. So let's get right back to the fifth round pick, and we'll give you just a second to get your notes ready. I know we are all just so, uh, you know, so wound up on that one. Uh, but uh, Rick Shivani, who are you picking to represent? Uh, Mr. Jim McMahon's pick for Monday Night Claw in oh, the first round. Sheet. How, how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to compose my thoughts after that? That was <laughs> outrageous. Um, okay, okay. So you've got Night Demon. All right, all right, all right. You you think you've got the best undead JFW superstar going? I'm gonna pick the winningest JFW superstar in history. His ex-partner, Peppered Biscuit, baby. Ooh. Yeah, solid pick there. Solid pick there. Definitely one of the win most winningest wrestlers in JFW history, as long as you're not counting uh, championship matches. There'll be, there'll be plenty of time for that. Indeed, man. I just, uh, uh, I can't believe. I'm still, I'm still in shock as to what we saw in that tag match. Great pick, though, by Monday Claw. So I got to follow it up with a doozy. I think I am going to go for a former champion myself. It's him. It's him. It's JBG. That's right. JBG is on brand blue. He's coming to Friday. Stand firm. What? I didn't even know he was back. Oh, man. Oh, JBG's a legend. A legend in his own right. He's going to have some, I guarantee, this guy is going to be holding the title again by the oh. year's end. He's going to be in the main event picture as soon as he wants to be. That's how confident I am in a guy like JBG. He knows how to move in that ring. All right, you, you actually got me on that one, Gorilla. I'll give you that. So there's only one guy that I want in response, and that's the guy who's dominated the tag team division Dominated the Plim Plum Pluserweight division. Wait, what? Even beat the super heavyweights recently. There's no stopping him. It's Storm, baby. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what are you doing drafting Plim Plum Pluserweights? 
What are you doing drafting uh -huh. Plum Plum Pluserweights? Yeah, you thought you were getting the uh, the best of the division? No, movies. you might get the title, Gorilla. But just like you took away the, uh, the one of the best tag teams in the JFW, I'm taking away the best Plim Plum Pluserweight on the planet. You can have a shell of a Plim Plum Pluserweight division. Well, the, the greatest of all time in Plim Plum Pluserweights is debatable, but... I gotta say, you've just completely screwed up my draft board here. Give me, I need a sec. I got, I gotta rearrange here. I wasn't planning. To, I was, I was planning to pick all my Plim Plomp losers on Friday because I figured you wouldn't go anywhere near him. Near him, you know. You got Mr. Jim McMahon loving his seven foot tall whales of wrestlers. I didn't think I was gonna have to worry about the Plim Plomp loser weights. All right, well, fine, that's fine, 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 fine. To pick his picks. What are you picking? Come on, Gorilla. You're all right, on the fine, clock. fine, fine, fine. I'll take uh, Labred Mask. Tom Schniz. With the number six pick, we're going to make sure that we've got a hell of a Plim Plum loser weight division. The Friday fuckboy guaranteed for Friday. Stand firm. You, you know, picked exactly, exactly what I wanted, Gorilla. So I'm going to go from one extreme to the other, baby. The most awesome superstar in JFW history, Extra Arms Bot. No, oh, I got played. I got. I admit, you know what? Fair play to you, Rick. Fair play to to Mr. McMahon there. That was my fifth round pick, and you talked me out of him. I had him. I had him. I had him highlighted. I wanted. I wanted that big tent pole. You know, the one big man that Mr. Jim's couldn't get. And you snuck him out from underneath me. Well done. Well done. Well, I'm going to stick to my Plim Plom Plusers then. And I'm going to grab another one. And I'm going to make sure we've got the top division in all of professional wrestling. Because we all love those Plim Plom Plusers flying around. And I'm going to take with the seventh pick, Elliot. Wow. You're, you're supposed to be Mixed. excited about my picks. Come on now. Hey. Huh. Mixed feelings, mixed feelings, because I, I gotta to be honest, I do, I do love a quad skull. But, uh, but yeah, I, I think you're, you're picking a little low down the card a little early, because you know who's left. You know who's left. There's Famer, baby, recent world champion, hardcore extremist extraordinaire. Famer is my next pick, baby. Well, I love sharing a booth with Famer. Every time I get to, it's always an event, always an experience. I, I will admit I might have undervalued him as an in-ring talent, uh, but I think that's a solid pick. I do think that's a solid pick. However, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go against the grain a little bit. I, I think after what I saw from the winner three fives, a little shaky there. Uh, I do want to have some semblance of some tag team. I'll get a little of that two for one action that uh, that you got with Jim and Wanger. So I'm gonna take another top tag team that was homegrown on Friday. Stand firm. That's right. It's the tentacle loving weaves, Nick and Try. Oh wow! Can't can't believe you're uh, you're picking. Uh... JFW superstars from the States now. We, we all know they can't wrestle. Goodness me. <laughs> well, but by picking a tag team, what you've effectively let me do, Gorilla, is pick three people in a row. So no, wait it's just two. It's just two, Rick. You only get two picks in a row. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you just, you just watch this. I can pick three in a row because I could go for a singles competitor first in purple chest, baby. You didn't see that coming and neither did he. And then... <laughs> And then I can pick a tag team. So that's three superstars for, for your one pick, buddy. And uh, I'm going to go with the recent two heads champions and title contenders again, the beloved North and South. Woo! Ooh, you know, you know, I had I had both Nor uh, both Ansi and Descotti high on my list. Of course, Descotti really showed himself, uh, showed his worth in the uh, Skiramezzo High Intensity Tournament, which I played a big part in. Uh, I am sad to see them go, but yeah, good, good strat there on the uh, on the uh, the three for pick. Maybe, just maybe, I'll take your advice on that and do the exact same damn thing. So I'm going to start off by picking the technical mastermind, the nerd, a fellow SFL, well, not anymore, but an SFL admin, so you know he's put up with a lot of shit in his day. Squirrel dude. Um, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, Green is letting his dogs out. 
I get to interrupt everybody and let us know that it's time, I believe, for another in-ring match. Oh, we've yeah, got, fair enough, fair enough. We've got, uh, what, what are we going to do? We've got the recent picks uh, for the Claw team, uh, and we're just going to throw them all in, uh, in into the ring together and let them beat each other up. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get a little bit of a Claw. You know, this is Monday Night Claw's TV spot, so we'll give Claw the... Uh, the respect they deserve here. We're going to pick four, a four-way elimination match. Hopefully it's actually an elimination match this time of uh, <laughs> four of the uh, most recent picks on Monday Night Claw. And I got to say, they've all been excellent picks. I think ever since uh, the winner three fives kind of fell apart in that tag team match, everything has been coming up claw. They've uh, going four away from uh, stand firm. Uh, they picked some uh, former world champions. It, everything looks really strong for them right now. Yeah, Claw, uh, Claw, Claw looking like a good show. No, I'm not going to lie. I might be tuning into it a little bit on my off time. And, hey, I, I view that as a good thing. As much as I want to win the war of words, and, and honestly, it's hard for me to lose a war of words against simpletons like Rick Schiavone and, and Jimmy Ventura. But as long as I want to win that war of words, I want to see good wrestling. And I think you're going to see good wrestling on Monday Night Claw, but you're going to see great wrestling on Friday. Stand firm. Well, it's good to know that in your spare time, you are watching the VODs. <laughs> oh, boy. Store and EAB in the same ring together. That sure is something. It's the big man, little man challenge. Taken to extremes. Of course, both yep. shows are going to be great. They've got JFW superstars. You, you can't really go wrong. But let's be honest, the reason you're tuning in to Monday Night Claw is to get commentary tips, baby. <laughs> I think I wrote the book on wrestling, uh, on AI-based wrestling commentary, Rick Schiavone. I've actually got a yeah, copy on my shelf. It's uh, AI-based wrestling commentary for thinkers. <laughs> Do you have the, compa the companion piece just called Yep by Jimmy Ventura? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't invested in that yet. I didn't think there was a whole lot of value to it. You were supposed to just say Yep. <laughs> uh, yep. Read the script, Basil. Uh, <laughs> Look, I've always given you credit. You paved the way, Gorilla. It's amazing what you did, building the JFW up from scratch, particularly when you had to do it with Jimmy. But nonetheless, I took that baton and I ran. I elevated it. I am the Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's your Hulk Hogan, baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just because I'm from Boston doesn't mean I'm as racist as Hulk Hogan is, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can come, I can uh, I can uh, feel a little bit of kinship with you there, Rick Shivani, knowing that uh, the biggest anchor around both of our necks is having to co-host <laughs> with Jimmy Ventura. Kind <laughs> of a rite of passage. <laughs> Speaking of co-hosts of exceptional skill, here is Famir, former champion, coming out tonight. Four-way elimination match. Probably doesn't want to run afoul of well either EAB or Store. <laughs> you know, won a uh, a a, a well-respected former champion and uh, statistician extraordinaire. The other, a filthy sniper who you don't want to ever cross. Uh, you know, at the wrong time of day. Yeah, Gorillo, another exhibition here for you to see what you're going to be missing out on on Fridays. These four unbelievable superstars. You could have picked any of them, baby, but I got them all. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, on the other hand, we could look at my roster. Imagine imagine a four-way elimination with uh, Squirrel Dude, LeBred Mask, JBG, and Elliot. That would be something, too, you know. So Friday, Stan Firm's got a lot going. I think Monday Claw's got a lot going. It's going to be two different types of wrestling and uh, on full display. And don't forget, all these picks are what they are. I've got every single one of the women's roster on my show. 
and we are going to dominate women's wrestling as well as men's wrestling and we're going to go into the future with the one and only place to find jfw women's wrestling action with a huge cast of characters to compete in the ring I, i've got to give you that gorilla i i do envy you the women's division i love our female jfw superstars they are as awesome in the ring if not more so than our men and our minotaurs and everything else our extra arms bots so uh yeah that that was a big coup you did well there and also one Frost Lord Army, one of my all-time favorites, and uh, you got lucky last night, Gorilla, and landed him <laughs> by default. Yeah, well, well, I don't know, I don't know how much luck came into play as it, as it did uh, uh, conniving of uh, unexplained conniving of uh, Rick Reckless coming in on his cannonball, folks. If you haven't caught the caught the vod of that, I don't know when it's going up, but make sure to check it out on YouTube. That was a hell of a show, and you probably only have to watch the first 30 minutes of it. <laughs> yep, it'll be live in about an hour, in fact. Oh, baby. On the YouTubes. Darn it, Gorilla. Before BZL cut you off with this match, you were about to tell us what your next pick was. You said you were doing <laughs> something like the same thing I did. What What were you going to say, Gorilla? What's oh, your next pick? I've got a pick that's going to get you swearing, and we're going to hear a God damn it from across <laughs> the fucking planet from Mr. Jim Smith, man, when I make my pick, you don't know what's about to hit you. It's going to be like that uh, sledgehammer, only it's going to actually hit something. <laughs> ah, you're all bluster and no muster, Gorilla. <laughs> oh, oh, my word. Fame from, <laughs> dropped onto from the stairs from about, from about the rafters. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should ask the uh, technical rules question again. There are a lot of people outside the ring. Uh, if uh, there's a pinfall outside of the ring here, will that count? Uh, no, it shouldn't unless Jim fucked up the match. This is not a false count anywhere match. It is an extreme elimination match, though. Or, uh, so uh, it's not the first pinfall to win it. If you are pinned, you are eliminated. We will go through three of those to get to a final winner. But that does have to happen inside the middle of the ring. Well, anywhere in the ring. Okay, Preferably once again, in the middle of it. thank you for clarifying. Oh, man. <laughs> Sledgehammer to the head of Famer. You do have to wonder if just a punch by extra arms bot, though, might be more devastating than a sledgehammer to the head. Night Demon telling us that he didn't watch Backlash <laughs> without telling us he didn't watch Backlash. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's a shame he was involved in a in a phenomenal match that uh Oh I know. know. That was still not quite sure on the stipulation of, but it was one hell of a match. <laughs> it was one hell of a show, and if you didn't catch it live, go back and watch the VOD. I strongly recommend it to everyone. Thank you. <laughs> I love I love Thor or uh, Thor, excuse me, Store. Uh, stores uh, clotheslines to EAB's midriff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dirty shot by PC there. Went under kilt and uh, tosses <laughs> Famir off. And now it's PC versus Store in the ring. What a bad time to taunt for Store. Just <laughs> kneels down, gets kicked in the back of the head. Ooh. You've got to be weeping, Gorilla, that you're not going to see any of these four unbelievable world-class superstars on a Friday. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's hard. It, it's hard. The, the, I mean, these are all top guys and store. I mean, it, it, it is something. <laughs> uh, you know, I know I'm going to get a lot of experience coming up, you know, doing pay-per-views with Famer. It won't be the last I see of him. PC is... Uh, might be, PC's might awesome. be the last we see of him tonight. <laughs> yeah, sure Ooh. might be. Choke slam and the pin. Is that it for Famir? It is. It is. Famir up and out. And oh my god, Storr. <laughs> this just dropped out of orbit there. <laughs> well, the, the really good news was that EAB didn't try and break it up, so he hasn't been told backstage at the last minute that it is, in fact, <laughs> first fall. So uh, we do, in fact, have elimination. Excellent. Well, good to know. Oh, God. PC. Oh, oh, God, oh. Storr. A little tag team uh, coordination there by Storr and EAB to wipe out Purple Chest. But Storr's going to pay for it. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. It's a good oh. job. He's used to having oh, throw teammate. That's still got to be the end of Storr, though. Yeah, he could have just stayed sitting there for the pin, but he's going to go for a traditional pin here. 
Oh, Even if he was no, he slipped oh. out. Oh, he slipped out. Store sure is something. I will say, I. I don't get along great with Thor, but I did, you know, he, I mean, he's obviously proven himself as a top rate guy in the Plim Plum Pluserweight division. And I will, oh my God, PC power there. And I will wow. miss Thor in the PPP, but it's kind of interesting to see what he's going to be doing with these uh, ultra weight class guys on Monday Night Claw. Well, Storr has never been afraid to attack somebody bigger than he is, and that's pretty much everyone in the JFW, so he's going to thrive on Claw, I believe. That is I, true. Oh, look out, PC. I, I do th I, I do wonder if he's going... Oh, my word, yeah, it could be the end of PC. I do wonder if he's going to try and be the first Grand Slam JFW champion, because he won the tag team title belts, and when they dropped those, he moved on to the Plim Plum Plusers, and he's already won that title, but now that was robbed from him by Muppet last night. Ooh. Will he move on and try and win his third title? He's only really got two more to go to be considered a Grand Slam champion in the JFW. Yep. And the Plim Plom Pluserweight one is the one that's going to elude a lot of people. Like, I think Night Demon would be right up there, too. But he's yep. never held the, the Plim Plom Pluserweight, obviously. Uh, actually, I don't, actually I, I, now that I say that, I don't know that... I forget if Six Feet Down Under ever actually won the two Tag. heads titles or not. Yeah, not. they really struggled recently. They tried to reform with... Uh, Pepper Biscuit and Night Demon, and man, they just yeah. could not tell. Yeah, they've done they've done both quite well for themselves as solo acts again, though. Stop wow. just rolling in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we never have had an official. Uh, yeah, we've never had someone bat the cycle there and win all the titles, have we? That not sure yet. would be a feat. It would be incredible, wouldn't it? That whoever does that the first, you've got to say it'll go down as one of the greatest of all time. Indeed, no indeed. First I can say with great certainty, with all the uh, control I might have as a booker, I know it won't be Skr. <laughs> 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 he has held the title, though, for one day and one day only. He, he, he had his moment reckless. in the sun. <laughs> it only took him two years. Yeah. Oh, EAB, gigantic. And looks twice as big next to Store. Store couldn't be in any more trouble. It's a good job he's used to being at the top of a tree man and then flung headfirst into the ground, because that's the only way you can survive this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, yeah. He might have to tap here or his head's going to come off. No. Maybe a little too, too small, small for the hands of EAV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just pops right out of there. No. Oh no! Oh no! That is it. Oh yeah. That Brimstone. is. That's got to be it. I don't think Store has thick skull. What? Oh my oh, god! Maybe he does. <laughs> Look at what the Plimplum Bluesweight doesn't have, Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh -oh. See you, oh, PC. That's it for PC. Yeah, we've seen that at matches before. No, it isn't Jack yep. Bull. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Store versus EAB. The littlest guy and the biggest guy. Wow. It had to be these two, didn't it, really? <laughs> sure did. Store feeling pretty good, but maybe wants to stay on top of uh, EAB here. Modern day, David and Goliath personified. And there were people, that's a really bad phraseology. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here we have it in the 21st century. Little versus large. But we've seen we've seen Store achieve this before, and we've also seen Muppet pick up wins over EAB, so anything can happen in the JFW. Yeah, that was a long time ago now. That was several years ago. <laughs> it was. <laughs> and technically in the dark match. Not to take anything away from my Plim Plum Pluserweight champion, the brand bearer himself, Muppet Pac-Man exclusive to friday night stand firm however this is a different eab than we'd seen back then i i so and it was count out as well but nonetheless i so wanted you to have help me as the champion darn it pretty, <laughs> pretty great scoop no 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 none of that shit none of that shit <laughs> oh how did he do that He's gonna oh, baby. 
He's gonna wait, hit his finisher on the outside, but it's not false count anywhere! It's not, not false count anywhere! anywhere. <laughs> well, he's oh. not gonna hit it anyway. <laughs> Maybe he is! Wow! No one can get a grip. Oh Maybe no! He isn't. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god, he's dead! Jesus. Oh no! Oh no, ref, just stop! We figured, yeah, we figured simply that we'd uh, we'd break up the draft with some matches because uh, we got to keep the action flowing, rather than just you know reading fifteen names apiece and calling it a day. Gorilla, <laughs> I might let you have store after this one. I don't think there's going to be a lot left. <laughs> <laughs> no take backs. Yeah. If there's take backs, I get to redo really my winner three five pick. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, my god. Oh, five. Yeah. <laughs> Same deal for EAB if he loses. <laughs> oh, wow. How is he even moving right now, let alone fighting back? The heart of Store never stops to astound me. <laughs> he can't even believe it. <laughs> well, we're finally back in the ring where the falls do count. Well, that one didn't because he kicked out of two. I thought for a second he it had him. It was close. <laughs> it was very close. <laughs> yeah, these have been some excellent matches. Like I said, all it takes is a little bit of, uh, you know, shaking up the, uh, shaking up the, oh, that might oh be it for score, God. though. You shake things up a little bit, and uh, this is what you get, you know? Oh. Oh, he my. kicked out again. <laughs> store. You know what? I, I will say, I. I, I think I already said this, so I want to reinforce this point. I think Storr was an excellent pick for Monday Night Claw. I think that's exactly where he belongs, and I think we're going to see some great things from him amidst that roster. Oh, the oil streaming down the face of Extra Arms, but is this it? A I think he's got him. Like the victories. Oh my I God. think he's got him. Two. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. He's done it. Storr has done it. Wow, what a match. What a win by Store. Unbelievable stuff. I, I don't even think I realize what I've done, but I might have uh, I might have pulled off the greatest traffic of all time in Store here. Yeah, I, I think you I, it sounds like you were just trying to pick him away from me more so. I was. <laughs> but uh, I think you got yourself a diamond in the rough there. Unbelievable stuff by Store. That is truly an amazing match once again and a great showcase of all the talent you'll be able to see on Monday Night Claw. But we are going back to the draft. We've got six more rounds to go tonight. Gorilla Mezzo, you are on the clock. All right, I am. And like I said, I've got a doozy of a pick. I've had this one. I had to bump it a little bit as I was kind of judging if I needed more plim plum losers or not. But I'm going, uh, you know, with my back-to-back -back picks, I'm getting the three for as well, and I'm going to pick a tag team. But I'm not going to pick a tag team you expect me to pick, one of my homegrown Stand Firm tag teams. No, no. I'm going to pick one of the most legendary tag teams in JFW Two Heads Championship what? history. Cock and ball torture. Cocky oh. and Bam are coming to Team Blue, baby. Friday Stand oh. Firm is going to have to buy some extra groin protection because CBT is on Friday Stand Firm. No, oh, son of a... Oh, damn it. No, my favorite tag team. My I know, and you know what? And that's team. not where I'm stopping. You better start thinking about other tag teams you want to see losing. You might have those titles. You're not going to have any tag teams left to compete for them. Shut up, Gorilla. Let me think. Um... Das hats. I'll take das hats. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right. Das hats, eh? Well, yeah, that's a little disappointing to me because they were my next picks as well. I was going to take all the old legends, but there you go. Das hats, Oriolensis, yeah, the yeah. country wizard, and lean Gary, baby. Going to, going to Monday Night Claw, maybe become, uh, what is it, three, four times for them if they were to win the two heads titles again? Yeah, but it's been a very, very long time. Loads of near misses in the last year or so. 
Uh, they were absolutely rocking it early JFW days, but uh, they have not quite been on it. But nonetheless, we, we need the tag teams. Get your hands off my flipping tag team, Gorilla. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Well, I am going to defy convention again with my next pick. Since I had a, since I had a tag team pick and you had a tag team pick, we roll right back over to me now. And I am going to pick a Plim Plum Pluserweight, and I am going to make everyone's jaw drop with this pick. And I'm not going to explain it tonight. I'm going to let you all wonder. I'll explain it in the weeks to come on Friday Stand Firm. But my pick, the 13th, the lucky 13th pick of the draft, for Friday Stand Firm is the filing gimp himself, Elt Meme. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, wow, wow. Sorry, give me, give me a minute. In my humble opinion, one of the best commentators that I've ever like heard. Like I said, life. I'm not going to justify it. I've got a plan for that thing. And I know it's going to be a good oh. one, so let's move on. Go on, make a pick. Oh, you better pick God. a tag team because I'm coming for one next. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, absolutely right. That's the, the Scousers. I really want the Scousers. <laughs> Play it right into my hands. Enjoy having those herpes infested whatever you want to call them. Oh. The Scousers are never going to be a tag team on Friday, Stand Firm. Not on my draft chart. Uh -huh. No, I'm picking another hard-hitting tag team, another homegrown Friday, Stand Firm tag team. I am picking Rage Milk, Calcium Kaz, and Flicky Flack. Yeah, yeah, that's a good pick, Gorilla. I must admit, they're, they're new kids on the block as far as tag teams are concerned, but they've, they've got it. Oh, yeah, oh. we're going to have to up our uh, our liability insurance a little bit, but I think it's going to be worth it, all things considered. But since we've both gone back-to-back -back on tag teams again, you've got the next pick. It goes to you. We've got two picks left each. We better make them count, baby. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I've got it. I've got it. Uh, the JFW isn't all about the wrestling, you know, Gorilla. It's a show. It's an entertainment, something you wouldn't know nothing about. I'm going to pick the musical maestro, the genius himself, the extraordinary Hellboy, baby. Woo! Oh, Hellboy, that is a solid pick. Maybe a little high. He hasn't really accomplished much in the ring. But I agree with you. Entertainment, a big factor here. And with Hellboy comes some exclusive uh, song content. That should be uh, that should be something. Hellboy going to Team Red, the fr uh, the Monday Claw draft pick number fifteen. Who who do I want to go with number fifteen? I need another I need another tent pole singles guy, a guy in that mid card to upper card. Maybe could even compete for the world heavyweight title. So maybe I'll just pick myself a former champion in Foxamania. Yeah, oh, fair play. A absolutely wonderful superstar. Uh, I, I guess a little bit like my Das Hats pick. He's on a bit of a dry patch when it comes to titles, but he's always put on an unbelievable show. Yeah, really, really good pick. I'll, I'll give you that one, Gorilla. But there's, there's one guy, and maybe because you've not been around, you wouldn't necessarily know about this. So I'll leave this as my final pick tonight. It's the incredible Noalias, baby. Pay to Ooh. win, JFW. Here we come. Pay, pay to win. Pay to win. Uh, yeah, you know, I thought about Noalias for a bit. You're right. I haven't seen a ton of his uh, rise, but I do know I do know what Noalias has uh, to offer, and uh, it's possible I was threatened in the background by Mr. Jim McMahon if I thought about picking him and drying up the cash cow. So uh, <laughs> a solid 15th pick there with Noalias. And uh, with my final pick on Monday's edition of the draft, halfway through this draft, I am going to ruin a tag team for you because I am going to pick one half of a tag team, oh. the half I believe in, a, a tag team I know you had designs on making better, but I'm going to pick just the Plim Plum Pluserweight out of the group. I am going to take Z Talk the Dane. Good night, Donsk Donsk Revolution. You are oh. getting buried, baby. Ah, oh, son of a... Uh, I get it. No, you know what? You know what, Gorilla? I, I get it. I get it. I, I, we, we've even said it before here on Claw. We love Donsk Donsk Revolution. 
But there's something about those two, and maybe, maybe they've got something extra in singles competition. So, yeah, that's a good, that's a good addition to the Plim Plom Plusers. Fair play, fair play. Thank Hats you, off. Thank, to you. thank you very much. And you <laughs> might ask yourself why I wouldn't just. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't ready for that pick, were you? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't just draft the whole team and uh, only draft Z-Talk. And to answer that, all I can say is shut the fuck up and stop asking questions. <laughs> but, but it's folks, an incredible that drama. <laughs> that is going to do it. For the first 15 rounds of this draft, we got another 15 on Friday, 8 p.m. UTC. But now it is time for your main event of the night. The number one pick, Tony plays poorly. He is now Brand Claw, unfortunately for me. And the number one pick, your Wem Dope champion. He is your Stand Firm exclusive champ. Night team are going to go head to head right here right now in the main Good event evening, and that is going to do, do it for, you? for the draft until friday on stand firm at 8 p.m utc bezel it is now your time give us your overalls on this draft this first half of the draft what are you thinking about both brands here well a lot of drama in the late rounds with the uh, gorilla mezzo stealing cock and ball torture away from the monday night claw two heads championship and then breaking up one of the oldest tag teams we've ever had they've been together since the very beginning big kevin z talk and they will no longer be donks donsk revolutioning together i don't know what's going to happen there new chapter in their history but then gorilla also picked out meme so it's hard to say really how <laughs> who's the winner here <laughs> There's some positives and some negatives. It looks, I think, maybe like a slight plus to the claw, but both promotions are going to be amazing. And we can tune in on Friday to see the rest of the draft. We've still got 15 more rounds to go. We've only picked half of our wrestlers. So there's a lot of uh, amazing superstars left to be allocated between these two shows. Absolutely. I cannot wait for Friday. You know, we got we got a lot of a lot of big names. Who do we think? Who's the biggest name? All of us, everyone in the booth right now. Have a look at your rosters. Who do you think the biggest name still remaining undrafted is? I'll start. I'm gonna go. I think the number one uh, guy to not be picked yet is actually you, Bezel. Where the hell are you gonna end up? I don't know. I'm pretty neutral about all this, but it's gonna be fun to see. We've got, uh, oh my gosh, there's just so many people to choose from. I don't even know. Uh, just Joe might be the guy. I think he could be the face of either promotion. Just Joe, yeah, you know, a, a well-known Plim Plum Bluesway. You know I've got my eye on him, and he's got mm. his eyes unblinkingly on all of us. So that, uh, yeah, good call on Just Joe. What do you think, Rick? Oh, it's a, it's a really close one between a few. We, uh, we've seen uh, Clavius on a really good roll recently. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give him a shout-out. Oh, the pity pick to Clavius. Fair enough. Yeah, Clavius is a, an old institution, but he was gone for a long while. I, If I'm being honest, I can't see him going high next, you know, in the next couple rounds uh, on Friday. But well, uh, maybe, maybe, you yeah, know. Thanks for telling me, he won't, he won't be now. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. And what about you, Jimmy? It's got to be Crusher, hasn't it? Uh, he's he's gigantic. He's he's a Minotaur. 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 He's definitely a Minotaur. <laughs> God, I can't wait to see where Crusher goes. Yeah, the Scousers did go to Monday Claw. I've just uh, copied in the uh, the first fifteen rounds uh, of the draft into the uh, the the wrestling channel, oh, uh, so glorious. you can see Thank all you. of the picks there. Thank you very much, Glorious. <laughs> and if you're wondering why some of them are bolded, <laughs> it's because Jim highlighted all the people that he thought should be uh, should be exclusively featured because they've made him more successful as a streamer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> well, it is interesting that uh, all of the high-funding people have been uh, <laughs> drafted to fight on Claw so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear me. laughs> 
Pay to win, baby. Pay to win. Yeah. We've got integrity on Friday night. <laughs> yeah, it's the Jim's McMahon show that uh, has definitely been thinking about investments for the future. <laughs> hey, you know what though? He's a he's a he's an old hand at this. He's been running this uh, running this industry for years successfully now. So. Uh, you know, I'm just, uh, you could just look at me as an upstart. Maybe, maybe my plans, you know, maybe my, my mid, my mid first, uh, first night elk meme pick won't work out the way I think it will, or maybe drafting tag teams that A, don't want to compete together, or B, don't have a title to compete for might uh, blow up in my face. But maybe we will create a revolution of professional AI-based wrestling in in this space, and uh, it sure should be something. And it's going to take a revolution to outdo a, such a savvy and experienced businessman as Jim McMahon. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, he, he certainly made uh, the biggest and best move of the night, didn't he? By hiring me to do the draft for him, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to argue that point. I think uh, you definitely saved us from <laughs> 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 from some, uh, some awkward moments with Mr. Jim Smith fan, who probably doesn't even want to watch this main event. <laughs> Oh, I'd absolutely love it, Gorilla. I'd absolutely love it if we got two for two over your Friday night stand firm, boys, tonight. <laughs> oh, he's got oh, a baby, stand. Here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-huh. Boosh. That's oh, it. Man. Not that the first win was anything to do with J5 walking out of the <laughs> Oh, no. No. I kicked out, baby. <laughs> oh. This was still my greatest pick. Snatching Tony plays poorly from under your nose. Brilliant. It yeah, certainly weird. was. It's weird, JBG. It's like that happens a lot in pro wrestling. <laughs> the battle of zombies and stunners. Who can get the most of them here? Oh, pretty. That's pretty effective as well. Oh, but Tony plays Paulie doing what he does best and no selling all the offense of your best superstar. Glorious. Are we going to get a clean sweep for Claw tonight? We may well, well do. It's I mean, hard to beat one, Tony, one, of, one, one third of the matches was exclusively Claw. So. Well, they can count that as a victory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're... Claw could be the winner, one, two, three. <laughs> I, I can guarantee that every claw from now on, we're going to get a, que a clean sweep. <laughs> yeah. And they won't even have to rig it to do it. Oh! oh the, ref, the ref got taken out by Tony. Will that come into play? Mm. My guess is no. Oh, my God. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Almost certainly not. I, I gotta hand it to the JFW referees for all of their incompetence. They're far oh, tougher than oh, any other professional Tony. wrestling organization. Look out, baby! Zombie from the top oh, rope in and over. Night Demon asserting oh. dominance for Friday. Stand firm. Hit, hit, hit him, pin. motherfucker. Jesus. <laughs> Ref straight down. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gliding to make it close. <laughs> no! Oh, no! God. No! Oh my god! Kick, yes. Yeah, but he's not! He's hurt! Get him! Kick get out the hand up! Oh Count it, ref! Count Tony, it, ref! Please. Oh, the ref! Please, Tony! Please, no! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> of course, the uh, the show where we uh, create the matches is afterthoughts to the action of the night. It's the three best matches we'll ever see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. God, no. That's on me. Come no on, Tony. Way. No, no, no. That's, that's going to be it. That's going to always win. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> One oh, stunner what? and this is over. One oh, stunner and this is over. God. I got to let a dog in. What will Night Demon do next? I'm guessing another zombie. <laughs> <laughs> That was unbelievable. Ugh, brutal elbows. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is this is why we picked him, the most overpowered, overbooked superstar <laughs> in wrestling history. Tony plays Foley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all. I mean, he's got to win the match to make it count, but he sure is showing why he was a number one pick. Obviously. Yep. Oh baby, here it comes. <laughs> Judo takedown there by Tony. Can he get that stunner off? I'm going to guess one stunner and Night Demon's out for the count. There's no wrecking ball to save him today. <laughs> <laughs> as far as oh. we know. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh. What, hey. is this? what is happening? No, it's oh, going to <laughs> And one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> that would really be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> that, would, that would be such a letdown. <laughs> oh, no! Where are these darn stunners? Come on, Tony. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, Night Demon. This is the last time you have to worry about Tony's O-penis. <laughs> We're here. Here's the thing, no matter what happens from this point Tony. on. Oh, I thought that was a stunner for a second. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> no, Whatever no happens open, baby. from this idea. point on, Night Demon still leaves the champion. Tony plays poorly. Well, he's got a he's got a lot of he's got a lot of good talent uh, in his way uh, to glory in uh, Monday Night Club. To uh, find out more about these oh, boobies. We're seeing why both of these men were the first picks. To be fair, that could be it. Tony's taken so many zombies. It is. Oh my, oh my no. goodness! <laughs> Two and a half oh. count kick out there. Come on, Tony, find that stunner, baby. Oh, oh he's putting him to sleep. Give up sometimes. Tony, not one for submissions usually, decides to break that one up quicker. How do you put a zombie to sleep? Oh, again, I thought, again, I thought that was going to be a what? stunner. He's, he's stuttering him. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Son of a gun. This might be a record for how many zombies Night Demon's pulled off, and that's oh, saying baby. something. But here oh, comes the oh, one baby. stunner, and that's all you really need. Stutter! Stutter! Oh, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Oh, oh no! 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 <laughs> Kicked out again. What a match. Both these guys know they're the number one pick of their respective brands, and they want to show the world why they want this win. Get him, Night Demon. Come on, baby. One more zombie. One oh, more zombie. Oh, no. He Give might not need us. it. Yeah. Might oh. not. Oh, God. Just long darts him into it. the ground there. <laughs> oh, my God. I think this. No. No. Oh, two down kick out. Come on, Night Demon. Dig deep, baby. Zombie. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> He's got it. Darn somewhere. it, Gorilla. Darn it, Gorilla. Feast your eyes, folks, on the no. dominance that is. Oh, Tony oh, plays Foley. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my God. <laughs> like, literally, like Night Demon, who has the largest move set of anyone in JFW, is out of unique moves to use on Tony. <laughs> right, I, I've got a new proposal. We we have a, a draft night every night of <laughs> JFW because if this is the standard of matches, <laughs> it's clearly the way oh, forward. Yes, oh, yes, no! yes, yes. We've set him packing to Friday night stand firm, signed and sealed for you, Gorilla. Yes, Tony's done it. Unbelievable. Jeez, well, we can't feel too bad about losing a match like that, but good lord. Welcome to Friday night, or excuse me, Monday night claw. Tony plays poorly. Don't worry about it too much, Night Demon. We're going to have a hell of a run on Friday. Stand firm. 
And folks, that is going to do it for us tonight. We've got more drafting action. Obviously, some dregs to be picked, but some great picks <laughs> awaiting us at 8 p.m. UTC this Friday right here on Jimmy Fantastic Stream live. Thank you, uh, Bezel and Rick, for, uh, for joining us on this. And obviously, a special thanks, for Rick, for uh, covering for Jim McMahon's ineptitude at uh, doing two things at once. <laughs> Oh, to say it was my pleasure would be an understatement. Anything to get one over you, Gorilla. Uh, thanks for coming to Monday Night Claw, but also good riddance. Get over to Friday Night Stand Firm, my man. But yeah, massive shout out to BZR. What a great job tonight. Woo! Oh, it's been an amazing time, and I'm glad to be here. And I'm looking forward to the second half of the draft on Friday. Glorious. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.